Good evening. Thanks for watching Carrick's 5 News at 5. I'm John Madden. With the life of the Mesa County landfill ticking down, a group of students got their hands dirty today, all with the hopes a donation of worms and bins will inspire them to care for the planet for future generations. KX5 News reporter Star Harvey spoke with those students to find out more about their experience. Star? That's right, John. A few Sunday schoolers at the Church of the Nativity received a crash course on recycling and the reuse of different waste, all from the Mesa County landfill. The church says one of their missions is to care for the environment, animals, and people, so getting their hands dirty today was just another part of caring for all of creation. <laughs> These Sunday school students received more than just a Bible study. It's going to be up to them to figure it out. So getting them involved in the process, getting their hands dirty. Instead, they got a session on recycling and the reuse of different waste. Understanding what's happening um, is going to set them up for success in the future, and that's all that we're trying to do. The pause ministry at the Church of the Nativity received a donation of more than 1,000 wiggly creatures. Or, um, red wigglers, and so what they're going to do is they're going to break down all the food waste that they have uh, so they can help cut down on that, on that footprint that they have when they create food waste. The donation also included composting bins, all from the Mesa County Solid Waste Management Division setting it up. We had the kids help us, brought in some leaves, we're getting the food together. It's our, it's everybody's first time with composting with worms. Barrett Jensen, director of the Mesa County Landfill, says the red wigglers break down food waste and turn it into compost. Use for your garden or your potting mixes. We have some really bad soils out here in Mesa County, a lot of clay, and so this compost as a soil amendment is going to break that up and it's going to push nutrients into your, into your plants to help them grow. The idea is also growing on these school students who say the demonstrations spark their interest. Really, really cold, and um, they started to like dig around and do random things. While also learning the benefits of those compost creators. You can do a bit more with just like worms and <laughs> just other stuff that we really wouldn't think that we could do with little things like that. The church says the primary reason for bringing the red wigglers be a in hard to tell them is apart. to educate the kids and cut down on the amount of waste going into the landfill. Hopefully that makes them curious about creation and uh, wanting to know more about how how can we be environmentally responsible? What can we as individuals do? Jensen says this is part of their education outreach to get the community and the kids involved in waste diversion and composting. And although the bins are pricey and the budget for them is limited, the landfill does plan to introduce the lectures to more students at elementary and middle schools in the near future. First on the Western Slope, Star Harvey, KREX 5 News. That's a cool program, Star. Thank you very much.